seconds to go start sir no government no party has any magic solutions to those problems and these problems are going to be with us the problems of reviving economic growth the problem of massive unemployment the problem of resource mobilization the problem of savings investment etc the problem of energy the problem of shortage of power electrical hydro and other forms of power note the political power for there is no shortage of political power but there is shortage of this power where every scheme of areas every project of areas almost every unit of enterprise is road blocked because of the shortage of power and energy the problem is of finding a happy combination between hardcore economic policies for economic revival with distributed justice with constraints on the growth of the kind of economic activity which would deprive merit how to find this balance and how to revive the economy there are massive problems for which we need a massive national effort and i am pleading for a new national consensus the path of the public sector enjoying the commanding heights while we retain freedom of enterprise in certain important sectors sir the president has also in his speech mentioned the international situation although in somewhat subdued terms because of the gravity of the situation there is no doubt that the international situation is grim the psychology of the cold war is again gripping the big powers sir we have had an occasion to discuss certain developments on our borders afghanistan and pakistan and i have spoken on them and at length and i do propose to repeat those things but i would like to submit three major factors in the international situation at present positive and negative only when we understand these can we evolve suitable responses also one is the problem of adjustments to the realities of the new situation the new situation is that at one time we saw one power or one set of powers predominant dominating the seas dominating the pathways and now another power another set of powers have arisen with an equal measure of power to find adjustment and harmony is one of the major problems we had the philosophy or the theory of the preponderance of a power we had the theory of sufficiency of superiority and we had the theory of sufficiency of power here my good friend the agriculture minister is here i do not know whether he is interested in the international problems but i hope he will convey some of our ideas to those who are directly dealing with this i would like to mention the second problem it is also a negative one if i may put it in this kind of cliche that the power of the powerful is increasing at a fantastic rate and that the distance between it and the other is increasingly sharply we have seen the experience of the 
UNIDO conference which is taking place these days, how difficult it is for the international community to work towards a new international economic order, because the powerful do not find it in their interest to agree to a new international economic order, which would be more just and that makes it necessary for us precisely for that reason to cohort the forces with all other similarly situated countries to work for a new international economic order. But the third factor which I will mention and which is a positive factor is that the power of the powerful may be increasing at a fast rate, but there are limits to the use of that power. You have enormous weapons, you can destroy the world many times over, but you cannot use those weapons. The balance of terror has given leverage to less powerful countries, those countries who may not be a large power like India and others to come together to work together and to exercise more leverage. And finally, sir, I would like to say that there is an immediate problem for this country, because for the first time we are being encircled. There is the US, China, Pakistan combine whatever may be their calculations for the rest of the world and I know that is least the United States is worried, is bothered, is concerned about the Gulf more than anything else about the Middle East, about the oil and so on and so forth the actual impact of what is happening, the actual consequence of it is encirclement of India for the first time by three major powers. There will be basis there. Today we read in the newspapers that the minister is going to meet the special assistant to the US president who himself is going to Pakistan. Now, this is an ominous development for which we must find suitable responses. I would suggest a multi-pronged approach. The first element of that approach must be to exercise all our influence to restrain the big powers. Stop.